This right over here is the Tuesday workout. It is the max effort squat workout and it's going to last six weeks long. With regard to the exercises, your first two, these are going to be your other exercises or your warm up and your cool down. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a strength training routine that I wrote myself using the principles of Louis Simmons Conjugate Method. And for those of you interested in learning more about the Conjugate Method or learning how to customize your own training programs, I recently created a members only playlist which you can check out right up over here. And at the time of filming this video, there are 48 videos with over 11 hours worth of program design content. New videos will be added regularly and it's the exact same information that I teach in my program design course. So if you are interested in learning how to customize your own training programs or if you just want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member. And now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine, but before we're going to get into a couple of disclaimers. Number one, to maximize the benefits of this training routine, you need to make sure that your diet is on point. If you need help with your diet, you could either check out this video right up over here or check out one of the nutrition links down in the description below. And the second thing worth noting is to maximize strength and hypertrophy gains, you need to make sure that you're following progressive overload. And if you're not sure how to implement progressive overload, then you could check out this video right up over here. And this video, it is for members only. So once again, consider becoming a member. Now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine, but first real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section is it would really help me out and help out with the algorithm and if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content now let's get into the breakdown of the routine this right over here is the tuesday workout it is the max effort squat workout and it's going to last six weeks long with regard to the exercises your first two these are going to be your other exercises or your warm-up and your cool down for your a's we're going to be supersetting the tip bar raise with the reverse sled walk for the tip bar raise we're going to be doing two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using 70% of your one repetition maximum. So whatever you can lift for one repetition, you're going to pick 70% of that weight. And we're going to follow a 3010 tempo, 3012 tempo, sorry. That means we're going to be lowering our feet down toward the ground for three seconds. Then we're going to be lifting up for one and we're going to be pausing at that top position for two seconds. Once we've done all 12 repetitions, we're going to rest for 60 seconds before moving on to the reverse sled walk, which we're going to perform for two seconds, two sets of a 50 foot walk using 30% of your one repetition maximum at a slow pace you're not going to sprint you're not going to go you want to make sure that you're going nice and slow so you could really feel that quad activation and once again we're going to rest 60 seconds before moving back to the tip bar raise once we've completed both sets we're going to move on to the b exercise this is going to be your max effort exercise and it's going to be the barbell back squat with the bands for it we're going to do a few warm-up sets before moving on to the working set your first two warm-up sets we're doing four repetitions at 40 percent of your one repetition maximum using a 3010 tempo that means we're going to lower down to the ground for three seconds and then come up for one second we're then going to rest for 30 seconds once we've completed the first two warm-up sets then we're going to do another warm-up set at three repetitions using 60 percent of your one repetition maximum and resting 60 seconds then we're going to do one warm-up of two repetitions at 75 percent intensity resting for nine 90 seconds and then our last warm-up is going to be a single using 80 percent of your one repetition maximum at 120 seconds rest once we've done all that now it's time for the working sets for the working sets we've got five sets of five repetitions using 85 percent of your one repetition maximum and we're going to rest 180 seconds in between each set once we've completed all five of the working sets we're going to move on to the c exercise this is going to be your supplemental exercise and it's going to be the high incline zercher squat we're going to perform five sets of eight to ten repetitions using 75 percent of your one repetition maximum and following a 4020 tempo that means we're going to lower down to the ground for four seconds and then come up for two seconds and we're going to rest 120 seconds in between each set then once all five sets have been completed we're going to move on to the d exercise this is going to be your accessory exercise and it's going to be the high pulley cable crunch we're going to perform four sets of 10 to 12 repetitions using 70 percent of your one repetition maximum and following a 3012 tempo that means that we're going to crunch for one second we're going to pause for two seconds in the shortened position and then we're going to come up for three seconds and we're going to rest 60 seconds in between each set once we are sorry 90 seconds in between each set once we've completed all of the sets we're going to move on to the e exercises and this is going to be the other exercises or your cool down and it's going to mimic what we did in the warm-up all of the variables are the exact same and the exercises are the same as well we have the tip bar raise with the reverse sled walking and then once we've completed those then we're going to move on to the f exercise this is going to be considered a bonus exercise and as for your bonus exercise you're either going to pick an exercise that you're really really good at or an exercise that you are really bad at but you would like to get better at for me, I'm pretty good with the Atlas Stone, so that's what I chose as my exercise, and I'm doing one set of as many repetitions as possible using a Atlas Stone that is roughly my body weight, and you're going to be performing it explosively, so you really want to explode through the hips as you lift up that Atlas Stone, and once you've completed that, no need to rest because that's it for the workout. Next Tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m., I'm going to be taking you through the max effort chin-up workout, so be out on the lookout for that next Tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m. That's going to be the Wednesday workout, and if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. 
Aside from that, once again, if you guys are interested in learning how to customize your own training programs or if you just want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member. At the time of filming this video, that program design lecture series playlist that I have, it has 48 videos with over 11 hours worth of program design content. New videos are going to be added regularly and it's the exact same information that I teach in my program design course. So if you are interested in learning how to customize your own training programs or if you just want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as I'm going to be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you again tomorrow.